Hey YouTube, uh, well, I'm gonna be doing a video. Um, I've already done a, a pipe making video. It really wasn't that good. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is making another video. Uh, this one, I wanna try to cover all the steps from um, the very beginning to up until the final buffing uh, with carnauba wax. And with this, I'm going to say it again, I am not an expert at this. Um, this is just a total hobby. But what I'm, I want to show that even with just basic tools, um, you know, how to make a pipe. Uh, you know, you see guys like Joe Case and, and guys that are true professionals. I'm not even claiming to be anywhere near that. This is just how to make a, a, a nice briar pipe. Um, all the little steps, how I do the rustication for it to get kind of the tree bark finish. And that's it. Uh, here I have some blocks of briar. Um, I get the briar on eBay. Um, you, can, you can find different lots. I figure I paid, I can't even remember what I paid. It was about um, 40 something dollars for nine blocks, which really isn't that bad. Um, it's not, some briar blocks I get are actually really good quality. Other ones, eh, the grain's not that good. Um, this is the first time I actually had some kind of rot or something in this one here. This is the first time that ever happened. Um, and I went in and I don't know if it's from moisture or what, but you can see it just chips out like sawdust in there. So I'm going to have to cut, cut back in this and see if I can maybe uh, grind back to here. I don't know, maybe make some kind of pipe using this portion as long as this rot, whatever it is, it doesn't go too deep, but that's the first time I ever had that. Um, the first thing when I get my blocks is I kind of sort them into what kind of pipe I can make with them. You know, usually on pipes where I have a nice flat bottom like this, um, pretty much goes all the way, to, you know, it's nice straight edges. I can make, a, I like make my uh, poker setters out of it. Um, other Ones like this here, excuse me, with, th with this one here, you can see I've got a rounded edge on it. So, unless I went up in here, I couldn't do a poker out of that. So this one would be a nice piece for a billiard. Um, I'm gonna be using this one on uh, this pipe, and what I'm gonna do is make a, uh, a bent poker setter with a, bent, uh, a slight bend, not, not like a real bent pipe, but a slight bend, maybe, Coming out like that. I did one um, last month, and I, pretty much like what I'm gonna be doing now. So the first thing I do is I kind of um, want to figure out where I want to cut this because I don't want the stem this long, and there's gonna be a slight bend in it. So first thing I do is kind of mark out. Let's see. And just try to visualize. Okay, I'm probably gonna want a bend just about like that. So I'll take my pencil, start marking out, figure the pipe is going to be, because on a poker, you know, you got your straight section, so figure it's going to be right in there. In some pipes I plan out a little more, other pipes like this, eh, I don't plan it out a whole lot. Um, and for me, that's the hobby part. If I was doing this for a living, I would be planning it and I'd be much more meticulous in how I set this up. Let's see, first thing what I want to do is I'm going to figure out my bowl depth. And this is my, uh, I'm, this is going to be a three quarters inch tobacco chamber. So I'm going to figure out my bowl depth, then I know where I need um, my air hole to come in and meet. So, uh, let's see, probably take it in right about there. And this is just my first kind of roughing it in. I'm going to come back and get everything a little more precise. Okay, but I can figure, well, my tobacco chamber, I don't know if you can see that there, is going to be right about there. And kind of looking at what angle, right, something like that. So I'll come in and I'll make an angle now. Coming out from as low as I can get it on the bottom of the tobacco chamber because I want that hole as centered as I can get it. Okay, so I'll turn this a little bit so you can see. Okay, 
So that's where my line is going to come in. Um, one thing I should probably do now is figure out how long I want, because here's going to be approximately um, where the straight part's going to come down on the poker. So then my stem is going to be coming out, you know, right in here. I want to have enough so I have a little flat spot at the bottom. Um, but now is to figure how long do I want my stem. You see that line? I'd say probably right about there. And I'm going I'm to bend the uh, vulcanite stem on this one as well so you'll be able to see um, how I bend the stem. I mean that's really easy just with a heat gun. But I can show how I do it. So that's going to be roughly it. You can see that's not completely lined up straight. But right now I'm just kind of roughing out my block. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. And I will be right back with that. Okay, now I just have that cut just roughed out a bit. So now what I want to do is I want to... Um, I'm going to go and mark what my depth is going to be on this. So I just use a piece of painter's tape just so I know roughly where I'm going to need to stop. When I'm, um, well, let me uh, slow down a little bit on this. Let me bark this one. Okay, so roughly it's going to be right about there. Okay. Now I've got a bit marked for the tobacco chamber and for my air hole. Okay, next thing I want to do is find my center um, so I can come down exactly in the center for my tobacco chamber and then also take that line so I have a line exactly in the center here. It's pretty critical that your air hole lines up with your tobacco chamber. You don't want to have your tobacco chamber then have the air hole way off to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and mark my lines. Uh, let's see. So first thing, let's just see what the... Okay. So that's about... Just about one and three quarters. So I'm going to go ahead and then mark Good, and I'll mark 7 eighths there 7 eighths there Okay, now let's see what we got here 2 inches so, okay, so now I have my center point there. Now I'm going to make my straight line down there and it actually comes out pretty good where I had the air hole so I don't need to change anything um, and now I have this is where tobacco chamber and the air hole are going to meet right there so let me just go ahead and mark okay I got we're seven eighths okay so now I want to mark you can see I've got a little angle in there, so I don't want to measure from this edge because then it's going to take me over because there's it's ground down just a little bit there. So I'll mark this goes in just a hair. So make a line up here for my center line. And then you can see I have my line here, so now I want to bring that line over. You want to make sure, what I try to do um, with my block is square them up as much as I can to begin with. It just makes you get, it just things line up much better, especially when it has to be so precise where this hole has to meet there. You're not going that far, but 
trust me, it's, it's easy to get off. So now I just want to carry this line over here so I have where I'm going to be, where my center is, for my air hole. And excuse me if I'm not keeping this centered, I'm trying to keep it so you can see as best as possible. So now I have where my air hole is gonna be drilled. Um, one other thing that I also do, let's see. Um, I also try to make a line down the back. So when I'm lining, so I can kind of eyeball things when I have it on uh, the drill press. And you'll see in just a second when I do that. So, uh, sorry, I'm just marking this real quick. So, just so I have a rough line down the back. This line is my center line that's on the top. Just marking that real quick. And now I'm ready to get this set up and start drilling. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see, I need to set up my block on the um, drill press, but I'll start this back in just a second. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with a Forstner bit. I come in with this first to make sure that this is squared up from where my air hole is gonna go because it needs to be square with this so that your stem seats against this tight. Once I have the air hole done, then I'm coming in with my 15 sixteenths to, um, to drill my mortise for the tenon to go in. Okay, and I think I'm about ready here. So now that I have that squared off, it also gives me a nice little pilot for my my uh, eighth inch to come in with my air hole. And then remember I have this marked off so I know the depth. come in with the 15 sixteenths and with the 15 sixteenths I would get it from um, like Pimo craft from someone or, or so just make sure you have a precision 15 sixteenths if you get like just from like your hardware store you get a 15 sixteenths there's a good chance it can be way off um, so just make sure you have a really precise 15 sixteenths and you'll see I have this one already marked off in my tenon. Okay. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to bevel the inside edge here. Just going to touch it. And you can see what I'm using to bevel that off.
And as you can hear, the quality of <laughs> the, the quality of this drill press is actually horrible. Um, hope to get a good quality drill press. This one, I mean, the, the bearings or something are going bad in it. So, the one thing you don't have to worry, if you're just looking to, just for a hobby, you don't need great quality equipment. I mean, it helps, but don't let that hold you back. Okay, now my air hole's drilled, mortise is drilled, and, um, it's ready for me to drill the tobacco chamber now. So, you can see on um, on this, jeez, um, can't think of the word, but um, on this piece here, I've got a center line. So if I line my center line up there, I'm just gonna snug it in right now. And, See, I might have to address the height on the drill press, but I'm gonna go ahead and just stop this right now and I'll resume it when I'm getting ready to drill the air hole.